Hey everyone, this is Patrick and it's time for another collection update. Let's begin. So, first up is a 2022 album that might have slipped your radar. This is Wayward Dawn with All Consuming Void. Death metal band out of Denmark. This is out on Emancipation Productions. And what do you get with All Consuming Void? Well, the structure of the album begins with like a 50 second death grind song. Makes me think of Regress from earlier in the year. Then you just get some straight uh, tribal gaze, morbific, gate creeper style death metal. And then it ends with a 13 minute track that doesn't fade out. It is just a song full of transitions and dynamics and riffs. If you like death metal riffs, you're going to like this album. Definitely do not miss Wayward Dawn with All Consuming Void. Seven tracks, 33 minutes, 33 seconds. The album CD version does come with lyrics. And uh, sometimes I also think of Outer Heaven, just making sure I get everything here in my notes. Shock full of riffs, stays quite chuggy and heavy throughout, mostly upper to mid tempo. That feels even faster than it actually is. These riffs sometimes turn into these power chord grooves, a la Gujira. They were done. Pretty cool album. I really, really enjoy this album. It never gets boring. It never gets stale. And if you love riffs, you might like Wayward Dawn. Another album that more and more people are talking about and showing is the latest from the greatest. Dark Throne. The boys out of Norway. This is their, I think, 20th record. Their last record, Eternal Hails, came out just last year. Seven tracks, 40 minutes, you know. Uh, this is good. This is doomy, heavy metal. There's still some black metal in it. There's some, yeah, old, uh, um, some thrash riffs. But it's mostly, it's mostly doom. Doom heavy metal, doom slash heavy metal, uh, but it's it's Dark Throne. If you go back to listen to their older stuff, even as far back as their Blaze in the Northern Sky, when it got a bit slower and doomier, that's right here. Uh, old Creator, the very first Creator album comes to mind on certain sections. So yeah, as Fenriz says, on steady course away from all trends. Dark Throne, Astral Fortress. If I was going to rank this album compared to Eternal Hails, I think Eternal Hails is slightly better than this album because of the riffs. Production's a little bit better on this album. That's what you care about. Uh, yeah, Dark Throne, Astral Force, Fortress. Tell me what you think in the comment section. How would you rank this album compared to the classics, compared to their recent output? Next up is a demo. This is a project called Tortuary, and this is their demo from 2020. Four tracks, 12 minutes of music, including a Poison Idea cover is the last track. This is actually a one-man project, Nicholas Camiola. He's a drummer for Sarcophagus, which means this is from Cleveland, Ohio. And for fans of Ace Felix, Norris, Pukrith, just that stabbing sort of caveman death metal, that's what you're going to get here. Really would like to see this, uh, see this project expand. It's not a drum machine. It's a... Nicholas plays all the instruments. 
Yeah, also if you like sarcophagus, this is, has a similar drumming style. Brutal, old school, death metal, autopsy a little bit in there. Ace Phalix though, and uh, um, Bastum. Let's see what I think about the most here. Tortuary, this is a demo from 2020 out on life after death. Next up, another 2022 release. This is Russian Circles with Gnosis. Saw this band play live not too long ago. It was the first time I saw them play live. Fantastic show. They are a three-piece post-metal, post-rock instrumental band. This is their heaviest album. Pretty cool. Orange and black. S swirl almost looks like Mars. Really cool. Out on Sergeant House. Russian circles are from Chicago. Seven minutes, I'm sorry, seven tracks, 40 minutes of music. <clears throat> Explosions in the sky come to mind. When they're heavy, they sound, you know, the, the, the chugs are there that can make you think of death metal sometimes. It's not death metal, though. I'm just trying to describe how the heaviest parts might feel like, sound like. Russian circles know how to create atmosphere. And they're really quite emotional for having no lyrics, no vocals uh, is what I mean in particular there. Russian Circles is quite, quite emotional, post-metal, heavy in every way. The drummer holds it all together. Russian Circles, Gnosis, will be high up on my year-end list right here. Speaking of high up on my year end list, this is Deva through Sheer Will and Black Magic. They're out of Philadelphia. This is that evil black slash thrash metal that we love. Bathory, Demiser, Creator come to mind. But I don't hear a lot of bands sound like this band. Um, and that's hard to do in 2022. So cheers to Deva for doing that. Speaking of uniqueness, this artwork is killer. Not my style. Actually, this is awesome. This works very well. Comes with the lyric sheet. And the vinyl is a cool variant. Very cool, actually. Take a look. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Variant. Darker on the B side. Or A side, I mean. There you go. Yeah. It's not black and thrash. Like I said, it's black metal in a blender with thrash soaring leads come in here and there blasting drums almost brutal i think i when i first was thinking of it it almost has like it's a, it, it's as heavy as death metal even though it's a black metal slash thrash hybrid check out deva through sheer will and black magic and finally another album that will be very high on my year end list this is Asser with Els Nus Cants de la Sibylla. That is a, they are from Catalonia, Spain. And yeah, very, very awesome. Blackened Death Grind with some Doom thrown in. Blown away by this album. Blown away. You will see this in my year end list. Asser. And yeah. It just made me think of the of some of the heaviest stuff around. When they do when they do death crime, they're as heavy as anybody else. I think of Noel. I think of Full of Hell. When it's more just death metal, I think of uh Diabolizer. 
but all with this gnarly, dark and thick and churning atmosphere. Uh, the songs get better as the album progresses, more dynamic. Uh, every time I listen to this album, I find something new to grab onto. Yeah, you'll hear more about this album from me. This is awesome. Asir, and I'm not going to pronounce it again. It's down here, or it was down here. And uh, yeah, this is my collection update. Check out all this stuff. This is all really, really killer, um, in my opinion. But um, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, talk to you all very soon.